rematch of them versus X6 Gaming. You'd be damn sure that they want to go for that rematch and they want to come out with a victory this time around. Yeah, and it feels like Envious' story has just been hitting these teams, going to the old distance, going to the fifth game. Rematches abound as well. Perhaps they win this one, they get the win this time against X6, but we're not there yet. They will be on defense first. And Meta Athena shows Changshik on the Winston, so a surprising pick though. You know, a lot of people might criticize how overall, in, in terms of his history, we've seen such aggressive play coming out from Alpha's Winston, his Reinhardt as well. But I feel like in this series overall, the synergy has been better, the follow-ups for his dive have been better for Meta Athena, and didn't really have much bad to say about his play tonight. So a surprising swap if they're gonna run this. Obviously this is attack. We'll see if things are different on defense. Now, though, looks like they will be sticking through with this one. So, she's hopping into the same exact combo we've been seeing all night long. But will the swap over onto Chungshik make the difference? He leaps onto the high ground, just zapping away where he can, but goes dangerously low and has to kite back. So far, payload not really moving, and Chungshik's actually going to be the first one that dies as Coco finishes him off with a leap onto that high ground. Losing that Winston battle already for sure here as the Diva coverage is good coming out from Mickey. And it looks like this is going to be into this push. Nearly the kill on the Libero uh, effect. Tracks it in. Ch chases him all the way into the spawn. I mean, this kill. is looking eerily familiar to me. Yeah. This forward position that Envious is able to take up onto the high ground is completely commanding the payload. You have to, to break this. Changshik has to be your man. He has to have, have the really good dive, and the follow-up has to be good. The CP steps in here first. It's going to be Hoon. Here comes the dive. Can they make it work this time? Early barrier comes down, but again, they could see the point. It drops back down, but the payload moves up a little bit here, so they at least gain some ground, but getting it around this, this corner is going to be the difficult part, but getting rid of Coco is going to help open that up. As Hoon does go down, Taimu takes him out, and Chanchik will fall. No tanky front line now for Meta Athena. Both supports dead, so just like that Envious, where things maybe look okay for Meta, they take hold of the reins and they take control of the payload yet again. I mean, if, if they are going to use, if the reason they switched to Changshik is for this defensive setup on this map, they definitely want to have a much better attack than this. Obviously, we're still early on. They have two and a half minutes, but they haven't accomplished much with this composition just yet. Not impressed as anyone really, even the Meta Athena fans so far with this play. Oh, Here comes the Pulse, pulse bomb, bomb, bomb. No stick there for Saya players. Could have been such a crucial one. Effect-esque if he had landed that. Could have got a multi-kill, but in the meantime, the Nano Visor coming through here from Taimo. He's still going to fiercely drop down onto the low ground, but immediately regrets that one as the Transcendence is there. Now he's being hounded by the enemy. Product Field coming down to try to keep himself alive. But it's only about a matter of time. He'll get booped off, so his eyes were a bit wider there. That is stomach. I don't know what yeah, the, yeah, I know, the expression I, is. I know what you're trying to say here. I think his eyes are bigger than his stomach, his appetite, whatever. Yeah, bit off a bit more than he could chew, some yeah. would say. Um, but the push continues, looks like they're going to grab this Fountain Cap fairly soon. Effect trying to change this though, the, the immediate Primal Rage coming out here for Oh, Chang Effect kills himself with the Pulse Bomb, that feels bad. Yeah, feels bad man indeed. He's definitely had a, a few inconsistent ones this evening. The Saya player is looking for the pick, the Transcendence was used. Dragon Blade coming up right afterwards, he does secure this. The bro trying to find the kill here, we'll get that final swipe through in on the Taimu, and just like that, with a dash on a Mickey to finish him off, will be the completion on the point A. It was really about the high ground. Medathena struggled to take it for so long and it was changed when we saw uh, Taimo actually go onto the ground. His eyes were bigger than whatever you said and he popped the attack yeah, visor you know. too. And then that was that was where they lost control when they lost that high ground. They held it for so long, but after that Medathena had total control. Saya player trying to sneak his way over for that pulse bomb. Won't be able to find it. The back off the Discord orb comes through, so just keeping track of that tracer. A massive part of Envious' defense and their success. Libero going back over onto the high ground. Almost helps take out chips, but he'll get first back up as Chung Tsik goes down yet again. We'll trade one on to Tai Mu as the fight continues. Libero dashing up here, takes out chips, looks for Harry, and it will be able to finish him off. So both supports being very easily handled by this Genji. Yeah, this is pretty solid push coming out from Meta Athena. Sai picks up the kill onto effect. It just feels like momentum has massively shifted here. Meta Athena getting the picks they're looking for, hurting that backline, popping onto the supports. 
So big ult lead right now for Envious. They definitely want to use that to stop this checkpoint or else the time bank is going to get a little bit out of control. See what's going to be first. Coco dives in, nearly has the Primal Rage, wants to accrue that here. They get rid of Dust, attack Visor yet again. The Nano Visor is out, but Libero is straight into his face, cuts him down. But still, effects coming up, comes up with that kill, takes out Hoon with that Pulse Bomb, follows up for Chung Shik yet again. Coco he gets a triple gets taken there. out, yeah, and he just, effect is just ripping his way through. Had that unfortunate Pulse Bomb earlier with the recall, self-destruct, if you will, of himself, but otherwise that was a pretty solid display there, knocking Hoon out of the mech, getting the Pulse Bomb kill. And they hold this with very few ultimates used because effect did so well in that last fight. So they have a lot still in their uh, war chest here for the defense. Ultimate uh, economy in their favor is Metathena. Actually diving deep here with Sia Player to look for some respawn well, kills. Effect goes the down. Line. That's going to be a nice stop start here, but Nuss does fall. No one knew he was coming. coming through, and he's not going to go down. Forces out the Transcendence by Harry Hook to keep himself alive, and immediately drops down onto that low ground to top up the rest of the squad. Self-destruct out from Moon. Not going to find any kills, but Libero does take out Harry Hook after the Transcendence is over. Nagu so pushing back in helps take down the Genji. So calm and collected was Simon in that crisis scenario too, with Sia Player behind him. Just pops down his biotic field. Waits for his teammates, calls him out, gets a, gets the heals, survives to take him out there. Fire player will actually take down effect, however. I mean, right now it's a really good looking hold for Envious. They got a lot of grounded meta Athena after the initial picks came through. But this hold here in front of point B, in front of that final corner, has been looking very strong for them. It's less than a minute on the clock, 50 seconds, all that meta Athena have. There's still a ways away from a sound barrier from that next dragon blade. Limero currently at 70%. This is the hardest place to get caught too because you have the longest walk back here in between these points before you get that checkpoint. Libero is about to have the dragon blade. It could be their opportunity here. Transcendence being popped early. Yeah, they're trying to push forward here. Effect getting chunked out a bit. Now that Discord Orb coming through onto Coco as he tries to keep himself alive. Leaps to the other side. Meanwhile, Nana Visor's out as Chunkshit goes down. Taimu just firing away yet again. Defense Matrix there from Hoon to try to mitigate a lot more of that damage nice coming shot out. There, but though. He'll go down here. They find the pick in on Asaya player. Taimu finding that one. The Helix Rocket's actually not even required to come up with that. He'll just go down from the shots from the auto attacks. Halo Push. is moving up. Chris is trying to sneak this one along. Yeah, he's Mickey trying to. Getting back in onto that mech will be booping him off the point. Libero, Dragon Blade. Needs to be the trump card here for their success to get this completed. It's now be... into overtime. Mickey just trying to push them off as best as possible. Chunkshit goes down. Didn't have a primal rage to try to buy more time for themselves. Oh, oh just taking down. Dragon Blade dra dragged out. Chips will find the kill with the biotic grenade. And that's going to be it. 89 meters from point A is how far Meta Athena will make it. And now Envy, all they need to do is effectively go to point B. And the set is theirs. They'd be moving on to face X6. They're so close there, they could taste it. And it was about high ground control. Changsik, the swap from Alpha, subbing him in here. The Winston play not as inspiring, to be honest, so far. Discord Orb usage always picking him off early in those fights. Really well done. And Taimu oftentimes was dove upon, but it was funny because you would see Taimu in these situations where he's got a Tracer on his back, a Tracer and a Winston, and he survived consistently. The crisis management was good, Mickey came over to save him, uh, Harry had come over to save him there, Chips as well, and suddenly this dive just felt like it failed when they couldn't kill Taimu, he got back onto the high ground, it was kind of a rinse and repeat defense for Envious. So let's see here, Metathena, at least from what they're showing so far, wants to run the May defense potentially here. We've seen Libero do this on Dorado before, as Taimu looks pretty happy with himself, but we were really expecting that it might be Hoon Zarya coming out, and if he doesn't pick it, you, it, it's definitely going to leave a lot of scratching heads as to why they subbed Alpha out here. It just doesn't make sense yet. He's still running the D.Va, so I think that we're just going to see this, and I mean... Meta Athena right now is basically doing what we saw Envy do on Sanctum with Mickey playing the Torbjorn. Except now they can't swap it. Chungsik is in. You can't put Alpha back in. You only get the one swap. So they committed to this like Mickey committed to Torbjorn. And it is not paying off. No, definitely not. Sia player is going to play Soldier here to try to give uh, Taimu perhaps a taste of his own medicine here from the high ground. It's going to leave them tracerless, but they will have Libero on the Genji, so 
kind of a different way to run the Soldier, having your backline Diver be the Genji instead of the Tracer. Definitely not as mobile, doesn't have as much escapes, and Effect has been crushing Libero in terms of 1v1 when they face each other, so a little bit worried about this defensive setup here for Meta Athena. You see Mickey and Coco immediately going up onto the high ground, just trying to spot out Meta Athena, see where they're posturing, see what the comp is going to be. So they get those call outs immediately, and now Envia starts playing up around this payload. Where it's already moving because so many members are set back on top of these buildings. They can't drop to the low ground to contest, and the rest of the team gets picked off. Changsik and Nuss both going down. In effect, just wreaking havoc, dashing his way up here to try to disrupt Saya player. Already is so much more uh, of a strong attack coming out from Envia. It's the triple here now when you consider Hoon's knocked out of the mech, and it was a immediate dive in coming from Changshik. He was targeted, he was discorded, he was killed. Chips turns his attention immediately to Nuss, gets that kill as well, and they are just shoving this hard. We even see the swap from Saya player as he realizes this soldier play is not going to cut it when they don't have as much peel, when Changshik is diving instead of protecting him defensively. Hoon's still not that experienced on the Zarya. Effect. Actually, surprisingly, giving away his positioning. Will be dashing in, trying to find a kill in on the Changsik, who has been proven to be the weak member. Finds out, throws out the pulse bomb, finds Chris with it. Coco goes down, but Changsik and Hoon both going down as he gets popped out of that neck. Harry has the boop to kill him, and Taimu looking for that final shot on the Libero. Won't quite find it, but Harry's there to pick up the pieces, and point A has already been achieved. Five minutes and five seconds now on the clock here for Envious. 89.3 meters, all that they need to win this set. Toxic finds himself an easy target against Taimu's DPS as well. When he dives in like that, he's got the stun, he has the Discord to help burn the tank down. So, I like that's part of the problem here is we see harassment coming in from Libero, forcing Taimu back, but he gets protected. They're gonna dive deep, but Taimu just retreats, gives up the point, and look at how much damage he's able to get here. Stays on the high ground, there gets another is. headshot! Oh my god, Taimu! Around. How many times this evening are we gonna see this? Dead Eye comes through, finds a drop down kill on the Hoon as he gets knocked out of the mech into the baby form. Flash bang down, looking for Libero, can't quite find that final shot, but a Harry Hook yet again is there to scoop up the Genji. The team kill completed by Envious, and the payload is moving at such an accelerated rate. You know, mid air. will die, but mid -air, whatever. <laughs> mid air Dead Eye Taimu here, just casually. He's the only one who doesn't have an ultimate here for Envious to secure this push. Hoon so, so close to that ultimate here. The self-destruct to buy time. He doesn't have it yet. He will likely for this final hole, but there's so much time for Envious if they can bait it out. They'll have such a massive advantage. Here we go. Taimu looking for picks here. The self-destruct comes out first actually for Mickey. Keeps himself safe. Dashes away and that's going to be the first one that goes down. Coco leaps in, finds the kill. Taimu eventually gets rid of the Genji. Effect goes down to the self-destruct by Hoon, but there's still such a man advantage here for Envious. Now with that sound barrier down, just mitigating all the DPS output coming through from the side of Meta Athena. I mean, just get picked off as Chunks leaps his way back in, but Saya player goes down. One of the biggest delay tactics that Meta has available for them is taken out. And now the Discord Orb here onto the monkeys. He just desperately tries to leap in. Will be saved, but it's at the cost of the Transcendence. And there's still three minutes 15 on the clock here for Envious. So even if they don't get it on this push, it's so likely that they get it on the next one because it's only six meters left to go. Miracle hold here so far for Meta Athena. Effect does pick off Changshik on his way out. He should be there for the next fight, but that was razor thin the hold. And as you said, so many ultimates used. Transcendence baited out the Dragon Blade for Libero, who actually really carried that fight kind of on his back here, but. Envious has so much time to build ultimates. They have nearly the dead eye. Hello? Hello? Is anybody on this payload right now? Okay. Close call there. It's, I mean, it had a little bit of distance from the rollback, so they actually pretty much high up where it was before that fight was lost. Oh, again! Yeah, yeah, again! again! And this is, man, you probably just don't even want to try to pick him off at this point. I would just leave Taimu alone if I was side player. Yet again, the flashbang comes through. The headshot registers, and the team wide nearly completed. That should be it. Libero booped off. There it is. Envious. Find the victory, 3-1 as they win on Dorado. They're gonna be moving on to the final match of the group. As They're gonna they face off against X6 Gaming, like you say, the rematch. The rematch, man, they won the first rematch here against Meta Adina. This time much cleaner than in the group stage where they needed the reverse sweep. We definitely saw flashbacks of the failed Dorado play from Meta Athena. They didn't switch it up, they didn't go Route 66, which I feel like would have been a smart choice against the lack of dive on the side of Envious when they had high ground control there. And, you know, we saw a solid defense. Taimu was the hero of this series, though. The accuracy on the McCree, good positioning, always on the soldier, Mickey keeping protecting him.
You know, Mickey was several times at the beginning of the series focusing on dealing with Saya player. He was chasing the Tracer, he was being very aggressive, which one of the weaknesses of Mickey as a D.Va player. He's very aggressive because they don't have a Genji player, so he serves as kind of a pseudo secondary dive hero that comes in with the Winston, with the Tracer when they dive onto these targets. But towards the later part of the series, they moved back. It was more protecting Taimu, which worked really well for them. And it was just Taimu carrying fights again and again and again. And you know, at the end there, when I saw a Saya player come around to Taimu, before it even happened, I know you, you probably felt it too. Just, we were waiting for that stun to come out. And then boom, the headshots. So many, even since Numbani, we were seeing that happen. And when your dive hero that's designed to get in the back line and kill that DPS is being consistently killed by the DPS itself. You gotta respect that skill. You gotta respect Taimu here. And Envious, they do it, they make it happen. The story of two teams that didn't run the dive comp all season long, the traditional dive with the Genji, the Tracer. Benathina made the swap into the standard meta. They wanted to force this to work. They sub Changsheng in. They didn't play the Zarya play. They didn't put Changsheng on the Reinhardt. Envious though, stuck with what they've been doing all season long, very little flexing but still were able to outplay Meta Athena. In terms of the Meta Breakers tonight, Envious, yet again, the better team. Yeah. And I mean, it's really poor showing here for Meta Athena. Getting shut out like this. Started off very competitive, and then it all fell away from there. The loss on Nambani, it just started a spiral out of control, and Envious latched